if you take R outside from numerator and denominator, we will get R into 1, 1 divided by R into 1 minus Jxc by R. Okay. Since two R's are com coming in the numerator and denominator, we cancel the R's. We will get gain is equal to 1 by 1 minus Jxc by R, which is equal to 1 by 1 minus j into 2 pi f r c. How 2 pi f r c comes? Since x c equal to 1 by 2 pi f c. Copy this plane. Now, gain is represented by a, letter, capital letter a. Now, uh, I am drawing this as uh, the graph of this, the output waveform. Now, please look to your textbooks for the output waveform. The uh, output waveform will be in the textbooks. Now this is V out versus frequency graph. Here we can see that after this frequency, the gain is increasing very rapidly. This is top band and this is pass band. This F1 is known as cutoff frequency. At this cutoff frequency, the, the output power is the total input power divided by 2. The speciality is the input power divided by 2 with the output power. That is a cutoff frequency. Okay. Now, what about the output voltage? Output voltage will be 0 0.707 times V max. V max is the maximum output voltage. It should be obtained at the highest frequency. Now, high frequency can be any high value. Here, we know that frequency increases, the best frequency increases. So, output increases. So, F plus so high frequency, higher frequency will get higher output. Okay. Since more current flows through resistance, more output comes. Okay. Uh, this is pass band, this is stop band. Now, this is 0 0.707 V max, this is known as. So, F1 is also known as 3 dB frequency, which we will be dealing in the further chapters. This is known as 3 dB frequency, also known as cutoff frequency. Now, F1, okay. F1 equal to 1 by 2 by RC. F1 equal to uh, 1, 1 by 2 by RC. Okay, cutoff frequency. But if you get the expression is of one equal to one by two pairs. Now, substitute in A equation, we get. What is the equation for gain? A is equal to one by one minus J into F1 by S. How, how this comes is that this is the gain equation. Gain A. I have told you gain is expressed by capital letter A. A equal to R by R minus JFC. It is. Okay. it is equal to one by one minus J into two by FC. Two by FRC. Now 2 pi f, uh, this 1 by 2 pi rc is f1. So gain will become gain equal to 1 by 1 minus j into f1 by f. Hope it's clear up to you. Now, now using this equation, gain equal to 1 by 1 minus j into f1 by f. Using that equation, we will get magnitude of gain a as a equal to 1 by square root of 1 plus f1 by f2 plus square root. This is how magnitude is found out. 1 by square root of f1 by f2 plus square root. Okay. Now phase angle. Theta equal to tan inverse f1 by f. This is the phase angle. Theta equal to tan inverse f1 by f. Now, this is the magnitude and this is phase angle. Now we will take the con conditions. If this denominator, f, this, this is the frequency that we give, high frequency, low frequency, everything. f1 is the cutoff frequency. Now, if this f tends to infinity, what will happen? f1 by f will be what? 0. f1 by f, 0 i am in the sum of the e value, 0 i am. e is 0 i am, k divided by 1 r. Okay? Now, other sum m. F, F1 F1 by F1 is some of it, 1 now. Like, F1 is the same one again, F1 by F1 now. Then what will happen to the phase angle? Phase angle will be equal to 45 degree. Since tan inverse 1 is 45. Now, at that time, magnitude of A will be F1 by F, uh, put it as 1, it will be a 1 by root 2. The value of 1 by root 2 is 0.707. 
which is a mass. Now uh, we know that f equal to 1 by 2 by rc, r equal to 1 by 2 by fc. Okay, how, how it comes? This r we take it for and this f we will go down and it will become r equal to 1 by 2 by fc. Which is equal to xc because xc equal to 1 by 2 by fc, xc equal to 1 by 2 by fc and r equal to 1 by 2 by fc which means r equal to xc. This is a special condition. The resistance is equal to capacity reactance. Resistance equal to capacity reactance in RC high pass circuit, high pass RC circuit in higher cutoff frequency. In, in cutoff frequency. Now, now for 10% change in capacitor voltage, 10% or less change in capacitor voltage, pulse width T equal to 0.1 RC. Okay, 0.1 RC is pulse width. Fractional tilt, pulse width divided by RC, which is equal to 0.1, which is equal to 2 pi F1 into pulse width. How does it come? Okay, fractional tilt is equal to pulse width divided by RC. That means, okay. Now, 2 by F1 into pulse width because F1 equal to 1 by 2 by RC. So we get fractional tilt is equal to 